up? It's Molly and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be year two of DIYs you need to try this summer. I did a video like this last summer and it did so well. I think it's like the best video on my channel so I knew that I like had to do it again this year because obviously you guys really liked that video. So I will have that video linked down below if you have not seen it yet. But like obviously finish watching this video first because like the DIYs, I'm not gonna lie, they're really good. So you definitely want to watch this video all the way through. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you guys enjoyed it so that way other people can find this video and my channel and everything like that and just thumbs it up if you like enjoyed it. I don't know. <laughs> Let's see if we can give this video to 5,000 likes. That would be incredible. And on that same note, if you guys are new to my channel, hi, I'm Molly. Make sure that you subscribe to my channel if you're new here so that way you can see new videos from me all the time. I'm trying to upload as much as I possibly can during the summer and make them like really high quality videos and you don't want to miss out. So make sure you're subscribed if you're not already. You can click the button floating around right now or there will be a red button down below that you can click on. And with all of that being said, let's get started with these DIYs. So the first DIY we're going to be making in this video is probably my favorite one. These are marble coasters and they're seriously so simple to make. For this DIY, all you're going to need is some oven bake clay in colors of your choice and then a stencil. I chose to make my coasters a hexagon shape, but you can choose whatever kind you want. Then I just laid out some wax paper and picked the majority color that I wanted to use, which was pink. So you're going to have one color that's like most of the coaster and then you pick another color as an accent, which for this one I chose white and a little bit of silver, but yeah, you just have to like play with it a little bit so that way it gets way easier to work with and then I just added little dots of white and silver throughout the pink clay and then you just kind of like twirl it and mix it all together until you get a really cool marble looking pattern. I don't know. So I'm just using a rolling pin to flatten out the clay that I made and then after that I'm putting my stencil on it so that way I can know what it looks like where I'm gonna cut it out and then I just use a skewer to like I don't know, cut out the clay, and after that I just like smooth through the edges so that way there wasn't anything like harsh or hard once it hardens. And once you have the finished product, you're going to put it in the oven at 275 for 15 minutes, and when you're done, you will have the most beautiful coasters ever. I think my favorite one that I made is that blue like turquoise one. Comment down below which one is your favorite. This next DIY is also super cute and really yummy. It's going to be some watermelon looking popsicles. So what you're going to need for this is some small Dixie cups. I found mine at Target. And then you're also going to need limes and a watermelon. All you have to do is put all of your watermelon that you want to use into a little cup like this and then blend it up. It only takes like two seconds because watermelon is mostly water. So it's really simple and then I just poured it back into a measuring cup that I could easily pour into these little Dixie cups. So if you're wondering, half of a watermelon made about six little Dixie cups of it. Then I'm just cutting up a lime into little circles that I can put onto the top of the cup which will make it look like an actual watermelon slice which I think is so cute. So after you're done doing all of this, they just go in the freezer. I put them in overnight but I'm sure they take less time than that. And once you're done, you have these super cute and really good popsicles. This last DIY is super simple, but I just thought I would show it to you guys because I think it's really cute. It's a shell ring holder, so what you're going to need for this is some metallic paint. You don't have to use metallic paint, but I did. And then also some shells, which I found in a huge bag at Joann's. So all I'm doing really is just painting the outside and the inside of my shell. I chose like this rose gold chrome color for one of them and then rose gold for another. Really pretty and I think it's a really practical DIY because you can hold your rings on it and put it on your nightstand and it's really simple and really cute. All 
Alright you guys, so I really hope that you enjoyed seeing these different DIYs that I came up with for this video. Definitely make sure to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and if you think I should do another one of these this summer because I would be so down. If you guys are sitting there not subscribed, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so that way you can see new videos from me all the time. Leave a comment down below of what your favorite DIY was in this video and don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, I have a Snapchat, a Pinterest, a Tumblr, I have it all. I will have it all linked down below below so make sure to go check that out or it's like around me somewhere right now and watch my previous videos and all that kind of stuff but I think that's everything I'm done talking um I really hope you guys enjoyed this video I love you so much have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you very soon bye